Hi there Glenn, VK4NGA. Just wanted to show you around the um, configuration and set settings that I'm using for um, ICOM terminal mode. Running the um, ICOM 4100 but it, uh, it runs on a few ICOM radios. So um, here's the settings. Um, I'll just show you the um, reply. So Raspberry Pi 3B plus. Um, just got the lid off the case. Pretty hot here today, and uh, the fan was getting a bit noisy when it was in place. So I've taken the, uh, the cover off, and um, it's got the fan running there straight onto the uh, processor heatsink. It's keeping it pretty cool. It's um, you know mid 30s. So it's pretty good. So yeah, just got as you can see, there's no uh, no modem hat. It's just a Pi 3 main cable to the router, USB cable to the um, to the 4100. Um, speaking of the USB cable, I really recommend that you buy the uh, the Icom cable. It's just trouble free, works fine. Um, a couple of guys have tried the RT Systems cable and uh, hasn't worked very well for them. So um, genuine cable, although it's a bit pricey. It does the job. Fortunately I bought it with the radio so I didn't have to uh, go out and purchase it. But um, I found uh, a lane cable to the router is probably the best option if you can. It just takes one more step out of the uh, the process. Uh, otherwise use Wi-Fi. These have got a very limited Wi-Fi range though um, with the uh, little onboard antenna wherever it is. Anyway back to the settings. So I've changed the colour of the uh, dashboard. I don't like the red. So you can see here, uh, I've just called it Pi Star 3. Uh, that's the only reason is because I've got two Pi Zeros running in the shack. Um, very important that you um, set it up correctly first up. So you've got to have D Star repeater checked and Simplex node checked. And you come down in your settings here, you put your call sign in. Uh, the frequency you'll default to, I think, 438. Zero, zero, zero. I think that's what's set. Doesn't matter what you put in there um, because there's no RF. So RF is switched off in this mode. Um, your, um, your settings there, as you can see, pretty straightforward. And you just got to select, I'll just scroll up. You've got to select ICOM radio and terminal mode, D star repeater only. Uh, I've got this um, node set to private. And we'll just have a look at the configuration. This is where you've got to get this right. Um, RPT1 call sign is uh, your call sign. Uh, VK4NGA. Um, and you've got to select the correct module. I'm running module C, which is... Let's get this back up again. I'm running module C because when I registered with the D-Star D gateway, um, you can see there... I got uh, three logs in there, VK4 NGA, just space, then um, space C, space D. So space C is for this, your terminal mode, and for VK4 NGA space D is uh, for the open spot, which is up there. But it's not running at the moment. Not very blurry. Oh, it's not focusing. Anyway, back to here. So that's why you've got to have the correct module there and the password is the password that you used in your registration process here. So wherever you registered to DSTAR, that's the password that you must put in there. Otherwise you'll probably get, you're probably uh, here, no problem but you won't get into the uh, network, into the gateway. So I got default reflector as one Charlie on startup, but you don't have to have that. And just your APRS host, and uh, got time announcement switched on. That's not too bad when you've been sitting in the shack for a while. Radio tells you what time it is. Um, got everything set to private. 
and the uh, because I'm using LAN cable, the um, the wireless is down, and that's it. So pretty straightforward. Uh, we'll just go over here to admin. You see the dashboard here. Uh, so ideally, you've got a D Star repeater in green, IRC DDB gateway in green, time service selected, so it's in green. Pi Star watchdog is in green. Then all green for all of the uh, different networks. So um, CCS, DCS, D extra, D plus, D rats, info, IRC, DDP, and echo and log. All that up in green. It's pretty simple to set this up, guys. It's not hard. I found it very easy. I was set up in about five minutes. So you can see there, I'm sitting on one Charlie. There's a bit of activity there. You can see there, you can change the radio module there. Um, and you can manually link and unlink, but I use the uh, your call in the radio, so uh, I don't uh, use the dashboard for anything other than viewing. But uh, we'll just have a listen to the audio. Fantastic audio. Short of the guys that that actually live there. There's two locations. There's two locations of use as military bases. Uh, you have Everton. So Everton, and you also had Eglinton. Um, the two locations are about uh, probably less than five miles apart, but Everton is on the river. So for breaking the QSO and I'll switch and, reflectors. Uh, Eglinton um, is a wee bit further inland, so perhaps that would have been the uh, Air Force base during the war. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm very familiar with it because it's a bit further on down the coast. You also had another um, another camp during the Second World War. Uh, it was named Shackleton Barracks. Uh, Shackleton Barracks. Um, yeah, it's going to for a while. Um, I'll just show you. You've got to be in terminal mode, so you can see here that terminal mode switched on. That switches the RF off in the radio. Just uses the front end of the radio. So you go here. You got to go DV gateway, and then we'll go to the normal mode. I'll switch over to the open spot and then we we'll just go back again DB gateway terminal mode and you're there so I just use your call to switch reflectors I find that's easier we'll just uh, switch reflectors there Because I switched out of terminal mode, I'm going to have to power cycle the radio, I think. It's a bit of an issue I've found that sometimes it'll drop out. Shows here that the link's up. But yeah, I'll just try again. No, it's not switching, so I'm going to have to have to restart the Pi. For some reason, when I switched out of terminal mode, it loses communication to the radio, so there could be a little bug in there. Just keep in mind, this is beta software, it's new. It's only been out for a little while, so there's only a handful of us that I know of that are running it. Um, so getting back to the radio settings, um, I use your call, so your call sign, that memory to um, all the reflectors are in there, and this will work. This just duplicate replicates your hotspot, so this will just run any reflector, XLXs. XRFs, got about 40 reflectors in there, and then I run it this way. I just in amongst the reflectors, I just have CQ, CQ, CQ set up, and also info, unlink, 
Echo Test. So we have those set up in there, so that way you haven't got to push buttons and do a whole lot of stuff. You can look at my other videos, and it shows you uh, how I set that up. But um, yeah, it looks like we're back up. Think we're on one, Charlie. Yep, looks like we're back up. Okay, so there you go, a little hiccup on the video. Been, uh, twice since then, and then the most recent, which was ten years ago. Finally, getting back as an adult and really getting out. I find switching uh, reflectors on this town. way quicker than the hotspot. And, uh, it's it's instantaneous. Now uh, we we flew into Dublin and made the drive up from Dublin up to Derry. So that's running a little uh, external hope speaker there. Back again soon. I've and, got uh, small children now. Sounds great. And I'm uh, just waiting for my youngest to get a little bit older and hoping to make that trip maybe next year or the year after. But cutting out the RF on this system is there. just one and step better. I really enjoy getting on, uh, on D Star. I can. I'm very proud of my, my Irish heritage. Link 2XRF. Seven five seven alpha. Uh, there's uh, ZL station on there. We'll just put out a call. VK four November Golf Alpha VK four NGA. Just looking for a signal and audio check, please. Hey, Glenn, VK4NGA, ZL2WL, not quite sure if I'm getting out, but still coming through the Ailing Clear, and good audio, it's uh, Hastings, New Zealand. Name is Wayne, ZL2WL, VK4NGA. Yeah, hi there, Wayne, uh, ZL2WL, VK4NGA. Yeah, um, you're getting uh, into the system, no problem. Working very well. Thanks for coming back to me. Uh, this is the first time we've spoken, I think, so um, I just joined the, uh, the ZL Digital Group on Facebook, so I'm looking forward to many more contact with you guys, and uh, this uh, reflector system uh, works really well. I'm on XRF757 at the moment, but um, I normally uh, hang out on uh, your reflector as well over there. So, um, yeah, good signal from you, and uh, working well. I'm just running ICAM 40, uh, 4100 in terminal mode, so I'm just shooting a video on that at the moment to uh, pop up on YouTube, so uh, give people a look at uh, how it works. Thanks for coming back to me, and uh, I'll uh, get going, uh, keep going with this video, ZL2WL, VK4NGA. Hey Roger, Ben, no problem mate. It was your video that uh, got me to this point. Also in terminal mode, on the ID5100 handheld, and uh, no problem with setting up on the 4100, so we gave up on that, did it on the 5100 straight away. And uh, what else was I going to say? Yeah, welcome to the group. I'm a moderator on the group then. Also, uh, I have XLX287. That's my uh, reflector there, Agnet. So if you're about, it's, it's just about the mirror damage to uh, 750 then. Cheers, Ben. Keep up the good work, mate. Enjoy the videos as well, over. Yeah, thanks, Wayne. Glad you got it working. It's uh, good fun. Yes, I'm just uh, shooting a video to uh, fully explain, well, to the extent I can anyway, <laughs> on how this works for me. So, uh, yeah. All right, excellent. Yeah, well, it's sounding good. And, uh, yeah, I okay, can't the uh, 299. That's great. Yeah, I'm just getting the hang of all these XLX reflectors. All right, I'll catch you later, Wayne. 73 is all the best. Um, ZL TWL VK for NGA. Yeah, 287, Glenn. 287. I don't know who 299 is. Again, mate, thank you. Bye bye. Cheers, Wayne. There you go. It's just great. What can I say? This is just awesome. To be able to use the radio in terminal mode, which is what I wanted to do, and uh, it's just fantastic.
There you go, call logs there. So, yeah, very happy with the way it works. Um, if you've got any questions, um, hit me up on the uh, on the YouTube channel and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise you'll find me on uh, various um, digital nets. But, um, yeah, what can I say? This is just fantastic. It's really uh, taken um, a digital radio D-Star to the next level. And I'll tell you what, if you've got a D-Star radio, you can go pretty much. You know, all these XLX reflectors like uh, 389B um, is hooked to uh, Brandmeister Worldwide Talk Group 91. Um, so, I mean, you can just get on the, and talk to the DMR guys. The AC System Fusion there. Uh, that's a Queensland DMR reflector. That's a UK reflector. Uh, XLX500, another great reflector. Uh, that's Brandmeister Talk Group 505, so that's Australian Talk Group. So that's uh, pretty busy with BKs. And the list goes on uh, XLX750. Um, which is the um, the ZL digital guys. Um, so we've got some uh, five three talk groups there, which are ZL talk groups. Um, this one here will go to the coordinate. Let's just see how fast this changes. I'm going to key up. You can see here we're linked to seven five seven A. So I'm just going to hear me key up. There you go. We've changed reflectors. That's how fast it is. Super quick. No hotspot will do that. And of course it just takes RF out of the picture. So less RF in the shack. And all because of this little fella here. So easy. Like you can just sit one of these on the bench with no fan, just some heat sinks and away you go. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully, uh, that's helped you out um, to get on to, um, to terminal mode, but uh, yeah, it works great. All right, 73s, catch you later. Okay, for NGA.